Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the smallest number and also the largest number or the lowest number or the highest number in a table based on some criteria that you type in. So basically this is going to be part of uh, the database functions. This is going to be using uh, a function called uh, dmin for the lowest and dmax for the highest numbers. And basically how you might want to use this is maybe you have a table here of uh, students and the courses they took and the, the grades. And based on what we type in on, in our criteria table, uh, we will get a value of what is the highest and what is the lowest. So let's see how this works. Well, the dmin command just is equal dmin. And you can see that uh, it tells you, it, there's a little screen tip here. It tells you what it does. It returns the smallest number in a field of records. And what I want, what to do is I'll just go ahead and select that, double click to select it. Now the database is basically your table range and that includes your headers. So A1 to C11 here. And I'll go ahead and type a comma. Now the uh, tip here will give me a, the next argument that it's expecting. And that's the field. Which field are we, do we want to bring back? So we want to bring back the values in this field, the grade values. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then press a comma. And it's going to ask my, for my criteria. And usually it's going to be a, a small table that is going to have your criteria. So I'm going to select this uh, small table. I'm going to select the uh, table here. And it easily matches our uh, database table. So even though we don't really need to bring back the grade, uh, just for uh, a visual kind of sense that you know we're looking for uh, these field values in a table that has the same field values is probably uh, good for consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and just press Enter. Now it's 50 because 50 is the lowest one in here. Now if I type in something like 5 here, it's going to bring back 5. Now what I can do here is I can enter in maybe a course. There's only three courses, art, business, or computer science. Let me go ahead and double click this to auto fit. You can see that computer science there. So let's say that I type in business. And you notice that it's not a case, it's not case sensitive. So if I type in business, it'll look for the lowest score that a business has. And we can see the lowest score is 50. Now if I went up here to the 64 and type maybe 2, you notice that now it shows up, that shows up, that is the lowest score. So that is how you would find the lowest score in a database based on some criteria. To find the highest score, uh, we would, or the largest one, you would just go ahead and use the, the opposite of dmin, which would be dmax. So I'll type in equal dmax. I'll go ahead and just double click to select this. And then the database is going to be the same. And I'm going to have a comma. The field will be the field I want to bring back the grade. And then the criteria, I want to also look at this table. Now it's going to bring back the largest value. I already have business in here. So if we look at business here, the largest value here, I believe, is going to be 76. So if I press, if I close the parentheses and press enter, you'll see 76 in there. So if I, let me go ahead and click in cell C3 and make a really large value, maybe 99, and you'll see that that shows up here. So those are the two database functions, the dmin and the dmax, and they're kind of useful to help you uh, bring back small values within a range of cells or a database or large values with a dmax uh, amongst a database or a range of cells based on uh, a criteria here that you have. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.